Top 10 food items from Aldi that has great value, but doesn't sacrifice great quality. Let's discuss. Good afternoon, my 34,700 subscribers. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification so you get all of the uploads that we put out here. Today, we are going over the top 10 list of different food items from Aldi that are on, at least on our channel, the most popular. These are the ones that you guys have commented over the last couple years. Every one of these 10 products we have gotten thousands of comments on that people absolutely love them. We're going to get right into it here. Number one on the list are apples. Apples, I can attest for myself. I get the Gala apples. They did just go up in price, but they're, they were $2.99 for three pounds, now $3.29 Still, though, when you look at some of the other stores, it's hard to find bags of three pound bags of apples for less than five dollars anymore. Plus, the quality just hasn't been there at like Kroger, Meyer. Uh, we've even gotten some comments of Publix where a lot of their apples just really haven't been good. Maybe it's just all around the country we get comments that there are a lot of bad apples going around around the country. So, I can always say though, when I get them at Aldi, they are always fresh always delicious. They're the little smaller apples, which I like. Um, Trader Joe's too. People have compared uh, Aldi to Trader Joe's as far as apples go. And I have to say, I've gotten Gala apples from both. Aldi is a little cheaper, so I buy them there. Uh, $3.29 for three pounds. You're getting a great price and great value. Now, I do want to mention uh, strawberries. Uh, I kind of wanted to do like a, a produce thing, but we're just going to talk about strawberries for a minute because uh, that is probably the next, as far as produce goes, the next most commented. The problem that I have with Aldi strawberries is that it's hard to always find. I've been shopping at Aldi for a long time now. It's hard to always find a good pack of strawberries. A and they just went up in price. They were $1.99 forever, and now they are... $2.35. I feel like at that price, um, to have to maybe throw away three or four bad ones, I'm not kidding. I've, I've gotten strawberries a few different times at Aldi, and there's always like three or four of them that I have to pitch because they're just bad. They just, they're not good. So, uh, but we've gotten a lot of comments on the strawberries and strawberry prices. Usually when we go over them at like Kroger or Meyer or some of these other stores, people will leave in the comments that, well, they're $1.99 at at uh, Aldi. So, I mean, and I understand that's a good price, but that doesn't really fall into the quality quality category because I, I feel myself, I'm always having to search through boxes to try and find one container that is worth it. So, just wanted to mention that people have commented on that in the past too, that they have, they struggle finding a one pack of strawberries that are really good. Okay, so number two, on the list are there the Happy Harvest canned vegetables. Now, as to where this would not be one of mine, this is one that is probably probably the most commented on the channel here. People always ask about my opinion. Um, I, you know, it's kind of hit or miss for me. Um, I, I do notice that a lot of them seem to be more watered down these days. We've gotten comments on that. I've shaken a lot of the cans before I buy them. It's like there, it's a lot of water in those, not as much. Uh, so, you know, I don't know if the quantity is there. I will say that they taste good. There's no, there's no, you know, we've had the corn, the peas, uh, we've had those young peas that are now like 95 cents. Those went up. Also, all of the canned vegetables have gone up. All the basics like the, the corn, green peas, those have all gone from 58 cents a can to 64 cents a can following Walmart. I do have to say, me myself, if I had to pick between great value and happy harvest, I would pick the Walmart great value. I just think they're they're better. Um, I feel like there's more in the can. I feel like every can that I've picked up with happy harvest lately has had a lot more uh, water in it, meaning that you're getting less of the product. But a lot of a lot of you guys out here like them. Uh, they're cheap. Uh, the quality is good, right? I mean, the quality is good. But we've gotten thousands of comments on a lot of the different canned vegetables, and I will say. All of the canned beans, the Dakota Pride beans that we've ever gotten from Aldi have always been very good. We get a lot, we get kind of mixed reviews on the Dakota beans. Um, we've never had a bad can, um, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. But wanted to mention that too because we get a lot of comments on the beans. 
Now, the number one out of the canned vegetables would be the whole potatoes. Uh, we get probably hundreds of comments every a uh, hundred comments probably every couple months every few months on the whole potatoes. Every time we do an Aldi video, I swear there's probably 10, 10, 12 people that are talking about the canned whole uh, potatoes. I've never tried them. I am basing this on all of our subscribers that have commented on these, that they seem to be your favorite uh, over any. So, you know, we'll have to try them at some point, but I put that in with the canned vegetables because that is probably the single most commented canned vegetable on here is the whole potatoes. Okay. Number three, pet food. Uh, pet food, we've gotten more. At, you know, when we first started doing this, when we first started shopping at Aldi, we didn't get a lot of comments on the pet food. It was more, can we find it? Because the shelves were empty on pet food pretty much all around the country. And it was very hard to find. And some people were saying they really liked uh, the Aldi pet food because it was cheap and your animals liked it. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's cheap or expensive. If your pets don't eat it, then it's a waste of money, right? So over the last year, I would say the last year, we have gotten tons of comments on how your different animals out there love the Aldi pet food. Not just that it's a good price. We've gone over like those little uh, hard to tail kind of the Caesar packet things. Caesar packets are $1.60 a piece now which is ridiculous. The prices of pet food is just, and we're expecting it to get even higher. Okay, so we may need to look more toward places like Aldi. Now, those same hard to tail Caesar packet things, because uh, that's what everybody compares them to, they did just go up from 75 cents to 79 cents a piece, but that's still half of the price. You're getting two for one, and everybody that I know that has commented on these have switched from your dogs eating the Caesar packets to the heart to tail. Not uh, for the price, but the quality is there. They're, your dogs are eating it. They like it. Uh, cat food, same story. Um, a lot of the different uh, heart to tail, like the one people compare to Friskies, and then they have the smaller premium. Now those have gone up to 59 cents a piece for both. But when you look at some of the other prices, they're fairly close. But Friskies, 95 cents a can at Kroger. Uh, or no, uh, Fancy Feast, 95 cents a can at Kroger for the cheapest one. Cheapest one. And then 85 cents a can for Friskies. Friskies. And I do believe that um, the other one, uh, Nine Lives, I believe Nine Lives just went up at Kroger too to 75 cents. So, you know, still cheaper, but, you know, you better believe that Aldi is looking at all these other stores and still wanting to keep it 10, 20 cents cheaper than, than most stores. Otherwise, people won't buy it. They'll just buy the name brand. But got a lot of great comments on Aldi pet food. So next on the list, number four, is the Tandle laundry detergent. Now, I know I don't go over this a lot, um, but we have, over the last year, gotten a lot of comments where people have said they use Tide for years and, and Dawn and just different ones, the variety. You know, Tandle has a, a compare to Tide. They have a compare to Gain. They have different ones that are the same stuff in Tide as it is uh, in the Tandle. And a lot of people have said they have switched because of the prices. But they're saying, you guys are saying that the quality is just as good. It is the same thing. One of the things is the scents, right? A lot of people uh, relate with the, the scents, the smell of, you know, what your clothes are smelling like. People compare that, like, yeah, this smells just like Tide, or this just smells like your favorite gain. Um, and, and really knocking a few dollars off of every price out there. I mean, uh, Tide... Uh, Tide has been a big, um, they've, been, they've raised the price, right, a while back, but now we're seeing Tide and some of these other laundry detergents that are keeping the same price, but they are shrinking. They are shrinking in size. We've seen Tide do that a couple times over the last year. So as to where the price looks the same, you're getting less product. Tandle has been the same since I've been shopping at Aldi. It hasn't shrunk at all. So that is a big one. Uh, that's one we always get a lot of comments on. And uh, people really stress the quality in that, that it is good. I know Aldi sometimes gets a bad name for some products. Um, to be fair, I haven't really tried many products at Aldi that I don't like. Maybe some candy bars 
and stuff like that, just snacks and stuff I didn't really care for. But for the most part, Aldi has really come through for us. Okay, number five, Countryside Creamery Butter. This one, I, I probably should have put this at the top of the list. This has been one that does not slack quality at all. It is cheap. Now, it did just go from $2.95 to $3.19. It was a little while back, but for a uh, four-pack uh, quarter butter pieces, one pound in one package, salted and unsalted, Countryside Creamery went from $2.95 to $3.19, but it is still the most commented on the channel. I, as a matter of fact, that's probably out of all the products that we go over in the stores as far as, far as comparing quality to quantity. That's that's probably number one. Uh, and the Irish butter. Everybody loves the Countryside Creamery Irish butter. I will say myself, Kerrygold, to me, tastes a little better. Okay, but I do like the Countryside Creamery. It is way, not way cheaper. It's about a dollar cheaper now. Countryside Creamery is has gone up a little bit um and you can still get carry gold uh the eight ounce brick of it for four dollars and 18 cents at walmart that's about the cheapest you can get carry gold anywhere but countryside creamery i believe it was 365 i think it went up to 365 so you're only saving a little bit but probably one of the most commented on the channel for quality and uh uh, price good price so okay next on the list now this is one that is not one of my favorites but i i put it on here because one of the most subscribed you guys have basically wrote this list for me these are things that we get comments on all the time of things that you love of good great quality and good price happy farms sliced cheese has made six on our list here um, we get tons of comments on Happy Farms sliced cheese. We noticed where it had actually gone down a little bit in price. They were $1.89. Now we sell it our Aldi. It's back down to $1.79. Aldi has lowered some prices, regular prices in the store. So hopefully they stay that way, at least for a while. Uh, good thing to remember when you're trying to save a few bucks. But these are quality items that, that you guys have all said thousands and thousands and thousands of comments on these 10 products so that's why i'm doing this so that you know if, you, if you're looking for something to try if you've never tried any of these products you may want to try them uh happy farms sliced cheese i i wasn't really a fan i i gotta say i just i don't know i didn't really care for it myself but a lot of people out here do uh so it, it may be worth trying um i have tried pretty much all of them i've tried the provolone i've tried the uh, I tried the Havarti that somebody had mentioned. The, Har the Havarti was okay. It was okay. I just didn't like like the regular cheddar. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just wasn't a big fan. But a lot of people out there are. And that is why it made six on our list. Okay. Number seven. Specially Selected. Which is a Aldi brand. Specially Selected Breads. Like brioche buns, some of those nice shiny looking uh, six packs, right? You're gonna pay four ninety nine for a six pack of them, but at Kroger or anywhere else, you're gonna get like a four pack for uh, I think they're five ninety nine now for their brand. So uh, we've gotten these. I we have been big fans of all the specially selected breads. Uh, Jessica likes the chocolate bread that they make, like that chocolate uh, twist bread, really good stuff. Um, but for the most part, all of their bread products have been really good. We love the brioche buns, but we always get, anytime I pass these or we go over these at Aldi, I always get a few different comments on how everybody loves this bread. It's not the cheapest, but it is great quality and it is cheaper than a lot of different stores around. So if you like these kind of uh, specialty breads and stuff, you may want to give it a shot. Um, a decent price really good quality okay number eight canned fruit this is another one that i kind of disagree with on myself but we get thousands of comments on the canned fruit happy harvest canned fruit um i've gotten a couple cans i i, I tried the fruit cocktail and i tried the pineapple that's it only two cans and they could have just been two random bad cans they are fairly cheap but not much cheaper than most store brands they're dollar 28 a can uh, and a lot of different store brands are right around that. Now, we saw where Kroger just went up to $1.59 a can. 
Okay, not just. It's, that went up 20 cents a, a couple months ago, but we saw where Meyer went up to. You know, all of these are going up. Um, but another one that is probably one of the most commented on the channel are some of the canned fruits and those little fruit cups. Every time I've ever gone over like Dole or any store brand, people always mention the Aldi fruit cups. They are about the same price though as store brand. So you you know, you do got to kind of watch that if you're looking to save, but if you're just looking at it for the quality and still saving a few pennies, it may be worth it to you. Um, and, and we should probably try some more different canned fruits of the Happy Harvest. I've... Um, I don't want to be overly critical from only trying uh, two different cans, right? I mean, it could have just been a, a bad day or a bad shipment. I, I really don't know. But again, thousands of comments on this. That is why it made the list. Okay, number nine, one of my favorites, the Chocare chocolate or Chocare or however you like to say it. I feel like I destroy that word every time I mention it. But that is the most commented chocolate from Aldi on the channel. Now there was, you know, we get some on some of the other chocolate products, some of the specially selected. Um, we get a lot of comments on the specially selected uh, salted caramel little bar things, salted caramels. I have tried those. They are fantastic. They are delicious. But um, as far as comments and the most commented on the channel, the Showcare Chocolate was number one. Um, prices have fluctuated on the chocolate. We saw it go pretty high up there, and then it came down uh, as of recent. It's like now it's the same price as it was over a year ago for the chocolate bars and stuff. Not bad. Great chocolate. My favorite, if you want to know, is the hazelnut. I like the individually wrapped hazelnut uh, chocolate bars. Those are fantastic. It's nice that they're each in an individual wrapper. I feel like they stay fresh a lot longer, but that is number nine on the list. And number 10, you guys can probably guess it. I'll give you a second here. Say it with me. Red bag chicken. Red bag chicken is the number one probably in the world. I think this, they have their own cult following. <laughs> uh, red bag chicken is fantastic. Um, if you like Chick-fil-A, I, be I believe they taste exactly like Chick-fil-A chicken. Um, they are fantastic. Jessica loves them. Uh, we get them all the time. They are still $7.99 a bag. Uh, that has not gone up in price at all. It's been $7.99. Now, there was over a little bit over a year ago, it was very hard to find it. They were flying off the shelves as, as there were a lot of things that were not coming in. This was one of the major products that wasn't. We were showing up there on a Wednesday and they were just empty. They were empty for months. And, and people were saying, people were ready to start buying these and stocking up on them once they started coming back in. Now they have it all over the place though, so no worries. $7.99 for your red bag chicken. I do have to say, out of all the different things at Aldi, this is probably our favorite. It is something that is fantastic. You just throw it in the oven for a few minutes and it's done. And it tastes as fresh as, fresh as you can possibly imagine. Uh, it is some of the best chicken out there. I can't, I can't rave enough about this, but this, we have had thousands and thousands and thousands of comments on red bag chicken over the years. So this was number 10, but in my book here, it is number one. But I wanted to lead up to the excitement of this one because I know so many people love it. We get so many different comments on it. Um, and I love it. Red bag chicken, it's great. Uh, you can add some, some of your favorite uh, pickle chips to it, whether it's dill, I like the bread and butter, a little different than uh, Chick-fil-A, I guess, but I like putting the bread, uh, the bread and butter pickles, a little bit of mayonnaise, your favorite mayonnaise, Berman's mayonnaise, we get comments on, on that a lot at Aldi too, not enough to make this list though, this top 10 here is basically what we have gotten, thousands and thousands, you guys, you guys have made this list, I put my personal feelings aside of some of these products, um, and this is all you guys that have mentioned these things. And it's an exciting, exciting thing to put together here today because over the last couple years, me and Jessica have grown to really love Aldi. Um, it is, you know, it used to get a bad name around Cincinnati years ago. And I feel like over the last five or six years, maybe 10 years, I, I don't know, it's been a while, but over the last few years, Aldi has really done well. They've done good at keeping. And, and, you know, I know I was talking bad about the strawberries. Well, let's talk about some of the good things for a second on on the other produce. 
lots of the produce is really good and good quality. Those oranges, I mean, it's the cheapest around to get those navel oranges. Those specially selected uh, Cara Cara oranges, those are fantastic if you can find them. Um, I know they sell out quick. They are four-pound bags for cheap. Um, but don't forget to check out all the different Aldi Saver deals. They always have a bunch of produce on the Aldi Saver deal. Sometimes you can land those strawberries for $1.49. And then it don't matter if you got to pitch a couple of them. Like, well, I mean, you know, you, you saved. You saved a lot of money. Um, potatoes. We've had kind of mixed reviews on potatoes at Aldi. We personally have never had a bad batch. But you guys know me. I'm that person that's going to sit there and look at every one of those potatoes through a 10-pound bag. I know people have said that that doesn't matter sometimes that you can find... You know, it's the luck of the draw, you know. And $5.99, yes, the prices went back up. $5.99 for a 10 sack, 10 pound bag of potatoes. You know, it's, it's, I hate to say it, it's about the cheapest round. Potatoes have skyrocketed in price. Doesn't look like they're going down. We've discussed this a lot on the channel. Um, people are saying don't buy onions from Aldi. I've bought onions from Aldi and they've been perfectly fine. Uh, I did, at one time I had one that was bad. But at the time, I paid two nineteen for a three pound bag of of yellow onions, and I mean, it was like okay, well, I had to pitch one, you know, and I mean, it's like, yeah, that stinks to have to pitch anything, but I was glad it was just one of them. But since then, we've gotten tons of them, and they've been fine. Uh, red onions, um, I feel like they're hit or miss anywhere, guys. Red onions just have not been good. That's I, I have a feeling that's why the prices have really gone up on different red onions. Now, uh, white onions, I don't know. I don't know why those. I feel like they're just going up because they can. You know, I don't know. But as far as a lot of the other produce, we've gotten a lot of good comments on these over the years. Just not the thousands and thousands that we've gotten on this top ten here. There are plenty of honorable mentions to have at Aldi. But let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite Aldi products are. Maybe they will reach our next top 10 of Aldi favorites. I, I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. Um, yeah, let us know down in the comments what some of your favorites are. Do you shop at Aldi? Do you love Aldi? Do you save a lot of money at Aldi? Let us all know down in the comments. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.